All right, and welcome everyone to a special edition of Mavs Monday as we'll be taking a look at the Mavs moves in this pivotal, very important offseason for the Mavs coming off of a Western Conference final to try to build this team around their budding superstar, Luka Doncic. So the Mavs actually pull off, I think, the first real big trade going into this draft this week, and they trade their 28th pick along with Boban, Trey Burke, uh, Marquise Chris, all of them over to the Houston Rockets. And in return, they get the young Christian Wood, a young athletic player that can rebound and they can score and put up some numbers. So now, when Mavs fans, when y'all go look at Christian Wood, don't pay too much attention to what happened last year or maybe even a year before that. Really pay attention to when he did play with James Harden for a limited time. He only played seven games. But during those seven games, he averaged 28 points a game, 23 points a game, and right at about nine rebounds. And the pick and roll was deadly. So when you go back and look for highlights to figure out who was Christian Wood, how would he fit, make sure you look at the time he played with James Harden, while the Harden was with um, the Houston Rockets. So to me, I, I give this, this trade a grade of a B, B plus, uh, because we don't know exactly – how Christian Wood is going to fit in yet. We know he's a young player, uh, but he has uh, had his tendencies to kind of not be all the way in the game or his head not in the game when it comes to playing basketball. Uh, some people have questioned his kind of loyalty and heart for the game. So maybe this change of scenery is going to be good for him. We all know they have their own superstar in Houston they want to build around. So maybe now Christian Wood getting with Luka, that could be a great fit. Now we know they can run the pick and roll, uh, to a T, like Luca, of course, he's been looking for that connection for a while. I think this would be great. I like it because he's a young player. When I saw this team throughout the playoffs, I, I kept thinking about, you know, let's not just always try to go after these big free agents, uh, these big names, but let's find some guys that can build with Luca that are right around the same age. They can kind of build with him, take advantage of having a great coach in Jason Kidd, someone they can look up to and maybe build this team up bigger and bigger. Now, let's talk about a couple of other critical things that need to happen in the offseason for the Mavs, and that is Jalen Brunson. What is he going to do? Are the Mavs going to sign him to a big extension that he really wants? I mean, the guy deserves to get paid. I'm always about guys getting money, but this is going to be a kind of a testament to see how they feel about him as a player. Is he the second-best player on the team to them? Can he be the true compliment to Luca? Um, we're going to find that out. Now, we know his dad got a coaching job or a staff job with the New York Knicks, so we know the Knicks are in the running. And I can't blame Jalen for turning for taking money no matter who offers it to him. I'm always a firm believer that guys should get paid. So I wouldn't be surprised if he takes the money if the Mavs don't offer it to him. But i also be surprised if the Mavs let him walk. Uh, we just saw the Golden State Warriors win another championship by keeping their young core together, guys that they drafted, guys that they developed, paying into the luxury tax that they got to. And it's going to be on Cuban to figure that out. Is he going to go ahead and do that, bite the bullet? So time would tell. Do I think the Mavs are done for this draft day that's coming up? Not by a long shot. Don't be surprised as things start to move around, role players start to move, bench guys start to move, and the Mavs are not still looking to pick up a few pieces also. And I think they could take advantage of Jason Kidd being the coach uh, because guys do respect him and want to play for him. So we'll come back after the draft and look at some other moves that are being made in the NBA. That's it for the special edition of Mads Monday. Make sure you guys stay tuned and subscribe to the channel. We'll be back with more.